Hi everyone, thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. My name is Lina Vedin, uh, Head of Regional Planning at Skåne Region. And uh, Skåne Region is uh, 1.3 approximately inhabitants in southern Sweden, uh, very close to Copenhagen and that great uh, mega region <laughs> in a sense. And uh, in Skåne, we are working, uh, we have the uh, objective of uh, developing a regional plan, uh, which will sort of uh, try to develop Skåne as a multi-nucleate region, which is uh, sort of different from other uh, large cities where it's very clear that there is one nucle uh, one core in that region where sort of commuting and, and where the, the employment opportunities exist. And, and in Skåne, it's a, it's a slightly different picture. Uh, some trends show uh, that we're heading towards a more of a, a core, one core region, but uh, we're, we have an ambition to uh, develop Skåne to a more multi-nucleate region, which sort of puts issues of, of uh, countryside and, and urbanization at its, at its um, uh, well, it becomes a central question, essentially. But I would like to explain uh, or introduce to you some of the um, issues we have raised in Skåne in terms of the pandemic. And uh, one of those perspectives is in terms of planning, uh, another one on housing, and a third one on, on uh, work aspects or commuting aspects. So the first one is, is a survey we've recently conducted uh, regarding uh, Skanian housing and living preferences and if they have changed during the pandemic. So we asked 2000 residents uh, in varying ages, housing situation and income groups, if they wanted to move. Uh, and if so, uh, what the reasons for moving were. And the findings are that uh, a very small uh, change in preferences existed. So practically none due to the pandemic, which is a, an interesting result because Somehow there has been a lot of discussions about uh, people wanting to, to move due to the pandemic. Uh, another uh, perspective is that on, on moving data, where we see a, a certain trend of households moving from larger cities to the surrounding municipalities close to the, to the larger uh, cities, and, and to a, cer a certain extent also to rural areas. Uh, but this uh, this trend could as, uh, just as well be explained by the demographic structures uh, and the baby boom of the 90s, where families are seeking houses. And I know you discussed this in the previous session. And, and uh, also a result of rising housing prices in urban areas, especially the city of Malmö, uh, and people having to move further to be able to purchase a house. And we have also seen the real estate prices in the surrounding municipalities increase, which supports this observation. The final perspective I'd like to uh, raise today is that of uh, the possibility for people to work remotely. Uh, and uh, a study has shown that Swedes on average want to travel maximum 45 minutes, minutes each way to, to work. Uh, and this affects where they want to live uh, in each labor market area. Uh, so, if we notice that uh, more workplaces allow for remote work and fewer, uh, thus fewer commute days, potentially, the tolerance in terms of time might increase the labor market area uh, as a result. So, those were uh, my reports from Skjorn.